Hi guys. It's Lisa. I was not going to record this. Um, because I was just going to do a flood coat on this piece that I have here. Uh, I got to do a bunch of finishings. That's what sucks when you do a bunch of pieces and then you have to just go and finish them all to get them off your table. <laughs> But I'm using up the rest of an empty, well, it was almost empty bottle of stone coat. And I haven't been down in my art room for about a week. This has never happened to me. Um, but my hardener, well, I don't really even have to bring it in any closer. My hardener is so amber it seriously looks like honey um so i'm not sure so i'm gonna mix them together because i know that sometimes when it's a little bit amber it will uh clear up when they're mixed together but i'm not sure this is gonna clear up and I hope this doesn't happen to my other bottle because I bought two at a time. So I don't know if it was a bad batch or whatever. And I love stone coat. But it is pretty expensive to be yellowing like this. I do have to say. So alright, let's get these mixed up. And uh, we'll see what happens. This might be a big fat waste of time. Oops, I just stripped it on my canvas. You don't want that on your canvas. Because then that'll be a spot that you can't, uh, it won't cure. I'm just going to take a little bit of alcohol and get that spot off while I mix it. Let's see. I should probably pause you because I'm going to be mixing this for about three minutes. So um, I'll be right back. Okay. I thought I unpaused it. I'm about a minute in. And it is still very yellow. So I'll pause you. Actually, you know what? We're just going to do this in front of you. Sorry, you're out of focus. I just got to get the sides real good. And I know some people say that once it cures, if it's still a little amber, once it's cured, it'll clear up. So depending on how it clears up, I don't know if I want to cover it. 
don't know if I want to cover this piece with it. Why is it sounding crunchy? When it's on my board. Oh, because the grooves in the cup on the board because it's a <sighs> I don't know what to do everything I need coated on uh, I got a darker board over there I think I'm gonna do it on the darker board. Although I don't have it prepped or anything. It still looks very amber in the cup. But do you see the stick? It looks clear on the stick. Why is that? Is this a magic trick or something? This is a clear cup. <laughs> but look how clear this looks coming off the stick. I don't know. I don't know. My darker board over there has not been prepped. I went cleaned it with alcohol. Ugh. You know what? We're just going to do it. Right? In the name of science. Getting the bottoms real good. This doesn't make sense to me. clear <sighs> oh well if I don't like it and if it turns yellow I guess I can just redo this piece huh it's not a commission or anything but it would have been for sale alright let's just do this You know, I'm going to pause you. I don't feel comfortable with this. Hang on. Okay. Oops. Well, this. Stop shaking. Okay. This is a darker board. So I feel more comfortable. Put you on pause and I cleaned it off with some alcohol. So, let's do this. It's probably way too much resin, but guys it's already hot uh, not quick coat either regular resin and it is like hot hot I don't know what 
what's going on. It's a mystery. But I sure hope it doesn't ruin my peace. Um, yeah, it's thickening. So much for a 40 minute work time today. Let me know in the comments that if a resin turns amber on you, does it cure faster? Because this is sure acting like a quick coat or a quick casting resin. So I don't know if this has happened to anybody else. So please, if it has, let me know in the comments. Seriously, it's not that old either, you guys. I mean, it's been a couple months, but I should have longer than that life shelf. Don't you think? All my other resins are... not acting like this. All right, let me pop the bubbles. Where's my torch? So we will see what happens. Can you see it? It looks pretty clear, right? All right, guys. So um, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, I'm back with the result. Um, it doesn't look amber, but I'm really glad that I did it on the dark piece. Just in case. But it came out like glass. Let me shut these other lights off. I rearranged my art room today. Oops. Because I got me a new light. Alright, so I'm just going to use the flash. So. I love the colors. I love... I really love everything about this piece. That phthalo green and the cobalt blue together is just amaze balls. So yeah, this was um one of the pours I did last week's. Or I didn't do it last week, but I posted it last week. Just one of the ones I had to get off my table. And then I went ahead and I re I put a flood coat on this one, which is the first one that was on the video. So this one. Look at that. So I really like 
this piece too. This one was a resin piece I did last week. Uh, is it with extra resin? Yeah. I think this is the one I did with extra resin. From my other pour. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, from the hexagon pour. This one is ex oops, extra resin one. And then this was the bottle bottom. I just put a coat of resin on that. That was from a few months back. <laughs> And then I had to heat this, my beach wave back up because it had fallen flat and it got really warm in my room and it like lost its shape. None of my other waves lost its shape. I don't know why this one did. So we're just going to leave that there for like forever. Um, the extra resin pour came from this one here that I did. Remember with the mirrors and the color art and the low res. I think that, whoops, sorry about the glare on the mirrors. I believe this was the cool mint. And then the glue gun gold leaf. So that one's up on the wall. It's been flood coated and it is done. Um, so yeah, so here is, hang on here, hang on, I'll show you. Okay, I don't have it fully set up just right yet but I went I have I got this thing that holds my phone directly over my piece which has worked out pretty good hang on I got a flash on hang on maybe that's better um, so yeah, I got, this one is my touch light here. And then my mom and dad got me my airbrush for Christmas, so I finally figured out how to use it. So it's up on my desk now. This is just paint for another project. Okay, block your eyes because it's... Here's my ring light. Now, mind you, that's, like, really dim. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Not from standing there, but... Okay, so... It's got a little phone holder that I can put my phone in and then I can actually put this right over my painting and I could like turn it up. Look at that. So I'm going to bring it back up. All right. So. Watch how bright it gets. This is super dim, like it can dim. See? And then we're going to go up. Look at that, you guys. I should never have another dark video. Ever. So I can put my phone in there, or I can just use the light. And then I got this little contraption. 
have that set on its own little easel because I had it clipped to my table. But when I was doing stuff on my table, it would shake this. <laughs> the camera was going crazy. So I had to put it on its own little separate thing so that when the table shook, that stays still, see? So, so yeah, so that is uh, my new light. It comes with a bag and it comes with a tablet holder too. Hang on over here. I haven't tried it with the tablet mount yet. Um... <laughs> yeah, so it's an 18 inch ring light. So I haven't played with it much, but it does have like amber amber covers that go over it. So if you want like a soft soft light, you can do that. So that's it. So yeah, I've been trying to organize my room and I don't know if I ever showed you guys this or not I don't think I did but here's a map and everywhere that I have sold and sent a painting to I put a pin so I just recently this year covered Washington and California I believe it was Ascola um, in New Mexico I sold one to Costa Rica uh, Jake added that a couple in Florida South Carolina North Carolina I believe there's way more in Michigan, but I couldn't put all the pins in, so this is right around my hometown here. So there's a bunch of family. There's a bunch in Michigan. And my sister has one of my paintings there. And my stepmom and Dad bought one. They are up in Gaylord. Actually, my sister's got a bunch of them. I think she's got like seven of my paintings. But yes, yeah, so I thought it was like really cool to uh, put a pin everywhere. Everywhere I sold and sent one of my paintings. So yeah. Out there in the YouTube world. You live in any of these blank spots. Come on. Help a sister out. I need more pins. Anybody up over there? <laughs> so yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. So I just wanted to share that little idea with you guys. And, uh... I got my artist, my YouTube artist wall. Hang on here. I think we need more light. My YouTube artist wall set up. So, there's my ATD piece. This is a Christina Welch piece. Also, Christina Welch up there. I don't have an Allen original yet. And that's Christina. You can go visit her website. 
This one is the clock that I won from Doris at DF Design. Look how shimmery and pretty that is. So that's that one. This is a start of a this is a Tammy Anderson. She sent me a ornament. It's on a wood piece and I'm also going to be getting her mermaid that she did. I think I'm leaning in my resin. So I'll be adding her mermaid in there. And then I just received this from Canela Sirocco. Red Dutch Pour. Go check her out. So yeah, I need my mermaid from Tammy. Guess what this big spot's for, guys. See that big space right there? Right there. Yeah. That's where my bubble piece is gonna be. From, uh, Sharon and Vivid Days. Yep. So yep, I got I got a spot for it already, Sharon. So yeah, I need some more for my artist wall. I could have swore I had a mixed media girl piece, but I for the life of me can't find it. I thought I did. Anyway. Alright, well I have taken up too much of your guys' time. I know I showed you my little spills. <laughs> They're so fun. They're so fun to make too. That one needs some help. It's supposed to be ice cream. But I guess nobody eats yellow ice cream. So I'm going to have to do something with that one. Jake makes fun of me about that one. My nail polish spill. Another one. <laughs> That's my wave that I laid black lace down. Diamonds and lace. Mm, I know you guys have seen all these before. That's the tabletop that I just did. With the color art. Diamond Galaxy. Ugh. Goodness, look at that. Gorge. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. I think that's it, guys. Yeah, so I just wanted to... I still got a bunch of garbage in here to throw out. But yeah, I just wanted to see... I'm getting it a little bit better organized. Better lighting. So... Now I at least have a light over on my drying table. So, all right. I will see you guys soon. I am working on a mixed media piece. That's what this is going to be. With these colors. And it has to do with my cat that lived to be like 26 years old. Yeah. I miss her every day. My Keisha kitty. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And all right. I will see you soon guys. Talk to you later. Bye.